天龙。我全都矮啊。To chat local, where I invite my VIPs to share with me their favorite makan places. Well, I'm now in Bedok, and my VIP, I heard he's already in Bedok Two One Six Market, living kopi with some of his friends. So let's go and find him. Oh, you run a park jump yard, teacher? Yeah. Oh. Hello, sir. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Good to see you here. Good to see you. So, doing your rounds in Bedok? Yes, I am. Shall we have breakfast? Sure. Okay. This is uh, Miss Tamjia Maureen. Uh, this is all my residents. Yeah. Okay, I join her for makan. Uh. Enjoy okay. your breakfast. Welcome to the 216 Food Centre. This is one of the oldest and largest food centre in the East. This place, I heard it has just been newly renovated. What are the changes you have made here? Well, you have a big fence. Oh, 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 I didn't realise how loud. Oh. Oh, this is literally called big ass fence. Secondly, you notice we put in empty sleep cars oh. because a lot of lao lao here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they scared they fall down. True. And thirdly, something you didn't notice, actually we shrunk the table a bit. Because now more space between the table and the stall. It's good for old people too. Because they have the trolleys oh. and walking sticks. Oh. Uh, so do you always come here to makan? I come here a few times a week. Uh, a few yeah. times a week? Uh? I'm usually on Saturday morning to around meet the residents say hello. Uh, it's also good to see the stockholders how see the how things are. But sometimes we have MPS, we have people session at Popeye or, or weekdays at Popeye, so we have time now. Wow, so we have got a table of food here. Mm. This is actually from Hongni Nasi Loma. Mm. I have been eating this for many years. I cannot resist the chicken wing, freshly fried, mm. it's so crispy. And then the second thing I always have um, here is Old Airport Road, Zhenzhong Lomi. So they go from Tampanese to Bedok, mm. and it's always a big hearty bowl. They ask it's like very traditional lor mee with all the fish the meat. Fish meat. Yeah. Ah, super. This is from uh, Sampura Jaya, mm. which is one of the Nasi Padang store. I, I call them uh, Charlie's Angels. Oh, <laughs> three sisters! Three sisters, yeah. <laughs> the mother has been selling this place since 1976. So this store has been around almost 50 years. The mother, until now, the second generation, the three sisters, they come every morning, 2 a.m. to start cooking. So this tahu goreng is actually very nice. The sauce they make themselves mm. so, so sit up. The second one is our Zhang Xue You Cai Tao Kui. <laughs> this one I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> because he looked like Zhang Xueyou when he was young. So it's not a girl, so it's a Cai Tao Kui Shen. He's very famous, it's a Hei Pai. Very hearty bowl and very nicely freshly fried. Very famous in this hawker center too. We have a different kopi stores also. Oh, yeah, one yeah. of them is the mm. Ye Ye Kaya one. Ye Ye Kaya. But interestingly, they also have a new generation coffee. Just now when I was there, Super long queue. Yeah. Even the aunties and uncles know how to appreciate like latte ah. and cappuccino. Okay, shall we okay. cut in? Yes. We should start with Nakama first. One thing I like is the uh, rice that she cooks. Mm. Fragrant and soft. Mm. It goes very well. Ah, look at this. Guys, the chicken wings. Sao sao tsu the so wow. So got changed uh, 12 years and now. Don't have. My feeling for you got this <laughs> cold. <laughs> The store name is called Hong Sing Tai Tao Kui. You don't go around two months looking for Zhang Xie Yo. Before I meet you, I actually put up an Instagram for readers to ask some questions. If you don't mind, from a Bedok resident, why Bedok got so many malls? When you built the design of Bedok Town, was a very traditional concept of, you know, every town, yeah, I use Chinese, ah. Mm. Uh, market, mm. You have a wet market, you have a food center, you can buy your daily essential. Mm. So the same concept applies today in Bedok, but so all other towns. Now the second question is, um, which dish do you cook? Where do you cook? <laughs> Less so nowadays. Last time I used to cook more often. Oh, mm. So you, your specialty is? I love cooking uh, chicken. Mm. Wow! Mm. But of course, on the pace, they ship over. Mm, mm. But I still like to cook a uh, uh, roast chicken and stuff like that. I've interviewed so many people, VIPs. You are the most impressive one, really. That way, so salty. Eh. <laughs> Ayo, yo, it was, I, the one I like is um, in Gok Kai. Wow! Uh, this is a salt, salt baked chicken. You, you know how to do that also? Uh, okay. This is a hundred years ago. Now, it's a hundred years ago. Okay, then the third question we have what is your go to karaoke song? <laughs> 我的年代就是張學友啦、文傑啦,還是周華健的發聲啦。哇,都老了。So we also have some fire 
questions mm. for you. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Rice or noodles? Noodles. Day or night? Uh, no time. <laughs> Sweet or savory? A savory. Lawrence Wong or Hien Long? <laughs> <laughs> for Chen Tong Ai. Black or white carrot cake? Oh, hey, pie. Ma chong mi soup or dry? Oh, dry la. Shao ji or pai ji? Ah, pai ji. Mi pao or mi kia? Mi kia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that in this hawker centre, there's a lot of aunties and uncles they actually use QR code. Wow. Oh, 一直在鼓励他们啦、啊。So that's all we ordered coffee. Coffee, from yeah. Yeah, yeah. Store, right? Mm. Uh, auntie is almost 80 years old. Yeah. So she was one of the first in this hawker centre to use the QR. I I saw her teaching them. Oh, and during the R and R when did the renovation of this place, I thought the digital ambassador was very proper shirt. I got to have classes for the hawkers. So DBS is one of the banks that very supportive. So you pay la, and like now they have this hawker thing every Friday. Three dollars. So every Friday. DBS is giving out money lah. You pay via ke lah, and then you get three dollar cash back yeah. immediately. You know. Yeah. And now we have the CDC voucher. Uh, because we yeah. also get CDC voucher to all Singaporeans households, right? Actually, can be used in hawker stores too. Mm. Okay. Now that brings me to mm. the next. I'm actually pretty full already, oh. but. You know, Bedok, right? It's not only about traditional food. Mm. I think within this interesting neighborhood, right, there are also some quirky little cafes. Mm. So let's go to the next stop, Percolate Coffee. Okay, so we are on our way to mm. Percolate Coffee, and I realized that this part of Bedok, wow, like you know, it feels very new and a lot of flowers, <laughs> a lot of colors. We've been uh, rejuvenating the town. Uh, it's one of the, actually the oldest house in Singapore. Uh, it's since built in the 1970s. Mm. So we started the whole effort around green and sustainability. So not just recycling, community gardens, but many projects to like food composting, to uh, helping people to recycle, upcycle their stuff. So many young people are helping our residents to learn some of these things. Actually, one interesting project that we have uh, here in Kampong Chai Chi and also in the East Coast is Grow for Good. Meaning? Many of our residents here used to stay in Kampong around here, no? So they grow things, no? They grow lady fingers, they grow chili, they grow uh, fruits, no? But as you say, we encourage you to grow. But let's also contribute those vegetables and fruits to those who are needy families. Oh. But sometimes needy families don't need it, don't need it immediately, right? Yep. So we have uh, called community fridges. We get people to donate the fridge, we put it in a void deck. The vegetables and some things they put in the fridge. So the families who need it come by and collect it on their own. Wow! Yeah. FOC! FOC, yeah. So doing good and doing well at the same time. Doing good! This is a Percolate Cafe. One of the nice little cafe joints they have in the Kamong Chai Chi Bedok. A nice place to have a chill with friends, like a little cake, cafe, coffee. This is my favourite place to chill in Bedok. Oh. <laughs> Almost every Saturday I'm here. Wow, so you know where to look for her on Saturdays. <laughs> but curious, uh, this is actually your first time here. Yes. But I see that you know you know a lot of residents and the residents know you very well oh. also. No, I spend a lot of time in the, the, the constituency. Mm. Well, because I really find uh, it, it, it very enjoyable to talk to a residents. Our videographer is also a Bedok resident. So I don't know whether he sees some changes here or not. Park connector, park connector. Oh. <laughs> no place to cycle. <laughs> oh, that's one of the nicest things in uh, yeah, Bedok Town in East Side. So we are actually uh, doing more uh, park connectors because a lot of the residents in East Coast like to cycle too. So what we are going to do is creating a new path all along Upper Changi Road so that from Jurassic Mall you can cycle all the way uh, back down to Bedok Town. Oh. Uh, so one big, one big round. So we talk about the East Coast plan, right? Mm. So I have a challenge for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Maybe in 20 seconds, can you briefly share about the East Coast plan without using the words East Coast plan? Wow, I do something different. Uh. Not just 20 seconds, I do it in haiku style. What's haiku? Haiku, Japanese poem. Oh, oh wow, mm. haiku style! Okay, okay ready? Yeah. Okay, your time starts now. East Coast plan introduction. Caring, vibrant, green. Where sun, sea, food, chill meets. Where I am home. Good! Yeah. 
我感觉你 Chat GPT 做不到。<笑> East Coast Plan using the Chat GPT、嗯。Green, vibrant. Ding 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 ding. 不错不错 ，you pass you pass. 及格及格。一百分一百分。Yes. So there was this question from the readers. Like previously, you used to work in IMDA. Yeah. So what's your opinion on the media landscape in Singapore? Every country, every society, every community has its own set of stories. And I think the media industry is an important part of our Singapore that tells our stories. And sometimes our stories travel around the world.、Mm. Right? I, I'm so happy when、uh, uh, Ajuma won awards. You know? oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's our stories, our people,、uh, about and sharing what we do in Singapore,、uh, our our dreams, our aspirations with the rest of the world. How do you feel about you know youngsters being wanting to be YouTubers and TikTok stars? We all grew up in a different era, right? Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, last time, no such thing as internet, no such thing、yeah. as phones, right? Today is so different. Yeah. And when our kids grow up, I mean, Lucas is almost two、yeah. years old, and Isaac is、uh, two and a half years old. When they grow up, I think regardless of what the aspirations aspirations are to be a YouTuber, your TikToker, or、uh, go ahead. Be a politician. Well,、uh, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, but so remember that you also have some values you have. You must still keep it. And values are like what contribute back to society, take care of our parents, be please be a responsible and a constructive member of society,、mm. right? And also take care of fellow Singaporeans.、Mm. And then whatever careers you want, please go go and celebrate and do the best, and we'll be supporting you. Wow, baby Isaac, got here or not? Your father said you can be TikTok stars, you know. Next time, YouTube also can, eh? Instagram also. Must learn from Lucas also, and Lucas from me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, SMS, for sharing. Actually, very fun、yeah. and very insightful. And I think we learn a lot from each other also. And、uh, welcome to all the Bedok. Come join us.、Uh, we have two or six market food centers, coffee shops, and little cafes like Pokale, right? <laughs> and you see me walking around, please say hello. <laughs> For watching, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below to let us know which other MPs or advisors you want to be on the show. See you next time. Bye bye.